Hey everybody, do you have an older car that has had lots of people who enjoy eating while they're driving or riding and maybe those people aren't very careful and they spill drinks and stuff gets all over the seat belts and they get really, really gross like these? Well, in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to safely and effectively clean these seat belts so that they look brand new again. Let's get started. Now before I start the cleaning process, let's get a really good look at what these seat belts look like right now. Right in here, down near the handle, they're really dingy and dirty. That's where your hand naturally grabs it and all the oils from your skin are just going to get absorbed onto your seat belt. If we pull out the seat belt a lot farther though, we can get to the part of the seat belt that basically never gets pulled out. And you can see, if I do a quick side by side, just how dirty the seat belt has become over the years. So our goal today is to get this part to look as clean as this. Here are the items I'm gonna be using today to clean these seat belts. As you can see, most of them are items you probably already have at home. This starts with this bottle of all-purpose cleaner, but you could just use some soapy water for this. Next is a basic hair dryer. We're gonna use this to dry off the seat belt when we're done cleaning it. I've also got a larger towel and a smaller towel, and I'll show you what those are for here in just a moment. I'll also be using this brush today. This is gonna be sort of the main star of our show, and it's a little bit of a specialty brush. It's designed for cleaning knives and silverware in your kitchen. It has these brushes that are soft enough that they're not gonna damage the nylon of your seatbelt, but they're also kind of firm enough that they'll dig all of that nastiness out of those seatbelts. Now these can be had for just a couple of dollars online, but if you're not interested in spending any money on this project, I completely understand, then you could very easily just use a household scrub brush like this. It will do just as good a job. It'll just take you a little longer as you'll have to clean each side of the seat belt individually rather than both sides at the same time. You'll also need some sort of a small clamp. Something like this would be ideal, but if you've got any kind of small clamp or even just a clothes pin would work just fine. And a small bucket, something like this, is also going to be useful for rinsing things out as we clean. So the cleaning process starts by taking your towel and covering up the upholstery in the car so it doesn't get wet while you clean the seatbelt. Then next we're going to pull out the seatbelt and what we're going to do as we pull it out is we'll take the buckle and we'll hold it up near the top so we feed all the seatbelt out through the buckle. And when we fed it all the way out, we'll take our small clamp like this and we'll use it to clamp the seat belt and the buckle up at the top so it stops it from retracting and keeps the buckle out of our way. I like to start way down near the bottom, as close to the seat as you can get, and we're just gonna spray the seat belt and completely saturate it with your cleaner or with your soapy water in a spray bottle. Go ahead and get it completely saturated. And don't worry about drips, that's why we've got the towel underneath us. With the whole seat belt saturated, now it's time to scrub. Just take your scrubber, and the reason I like this one so much is because you can put the seatbelt inside it, clamp it down, and then you can just scrub back and forth and it cleans both sides at the same time. And it really pulls all that dirt and muck and grime out of the seatbelt. It does a great job. Feel free to add more soapy water as you go. So during this step, I like to keep the seatbelt nice and wet. Now keep in mind the seatbelt is going to absorb an awful lot of the cleaning product and it's also gonna to start to evaporate. So periodically, I like to take my brush and dunk it in a bucket of water to both rinse it out and get it wet again. When that's done, we're gonna take our just regular old washcloth or small towel, we'll get this wet and we'll use it to rinse out all that cleaner. As you can see, all that grime is coming right off onto this towel. Make sure you rinse out your washcloth periodically and then go back over the entire seatbelt until when you're done making a complete pass, you don't have any more dirt. This is still dirty, I'm still pulling grime off, so I'm gonna keep going. Then once you get to the point that even after repeated passes, the washcloth comes off looking pretty clean, then what I like to do is just one last light spray down with the soap. Then we'll just rinse out that soap with a few more passes with a clean, damp washcloth. All right, now that we were finished cleaning, we can check and see just how well we did. This is the area of the seatbelt where the buckle was. And as you can see, if we compare that to the area of the seatbelt that's been rolled up in that B pillar all these years, they look identical. And this means I've done a great job cleaning the belt. It only took a couple of minutes and this job is almost finished. There's one last thing I need to mention. 
and that is that we have to dry out this seat belt. If we were to just roll it back up the way that it is now, all that water that's still in it, even though it's mostly dry, it's a little bit damp to the touch, that water would just grow mold inside there and ruin the seatbelt and make the car stink. So we're gonna make sure we dry it out. There's a couple of different ways you can do this. The slow but easy way is just to go and leave the seatbelt stretched out like this and park it somewhere sunny for an afternoon. However, if you're in a little bit of a hurry, you can also just use a blow dryer on a lower setting so you don't burn your hands and just blow dry this until it's completely dry. All right, the blow drying is all done. This seat belt is nice and dry and very flexible again. It looks nice and clean and it is indistinguishable from the area that has been rolled up in that B pillar for all these years. This right here where the buckle comes is the dirtiest or was the dirtiest section of the belt. And now it's just as clean as the belt that's practically never been used. So the last step then is to remove this clamp up top just enough to let the buckle slide down. We're gonna put the clamp back up and we'll slide the buckle down. Now I forgot earlier while I was cleaning everything else to clean this buckle and as you can see, it's pretty dirty on the plastic parts here. So what I'm gonna do is slide it down all the way to where it normally sits right by its little stopper here. And this little area is going, not going to roll up and uh, be in danger of molding or anything. So it's okay if I get the seatbelt right there just a little bit wet, I'll try not to, but I'm just gonna clean this with this rag. If you need to add a little soapy water or a little bit of the cleaner, you can do that as well. But more than likely, just a little bit of water will take off most of this nasty stuff. All right, that buckle's looking much better. We'll go ahead and untwist everything that we've managed to kind of twist up. Put the seat belt back down in the seat and then for the final time we can reach up here pull down our little clamp and let the seat belt retract back into place and there you have it our seat belt now is as clean as it was the day it left the factory all right well that's going to do it for this one i hope you can see just how easy this process is it just takes a little bit of soapy water scrub brush and a little bit of time and patience and you can get your seat belts looking like they're brand new again hey if you've enjoyed this video or even learned a little something you can let me know about that with a thumbs up down below and if there's something i could have done better or differently that you want to tell me about there's a comment section down there feel free to drop a note i read them all and i'll do my best to respond and as always if you want to see more content like this you can think about subscribing but there's never any pressure there from me of course i'm going to take off now but thank you very much for watching Okay, here we are. We're gonna dump out the rinse water from that seat belt. Here we go. Oh, gross. All of that came out of that single seat belt. Disgusting. Glad it's down the drain now.